let's talk about the enhanced domains of uh, Salesforce. Many people don't understand what enhanced domain is. Uh, there are a lot of people, millions of people work on Salesforce and using Salesforce, they have no idea what enhanced domain is. Enhanced domains are the next version of my domain with this feature, all URLs across your or contain your company specific my domain name, including URL of your experience, cloud sites, Salesforce site, Visual for sites, and content files. This feature changes domain suffix, the part after the my domain name to meet the latest security standards. Also, all sandbox URL contain the word sandbox, making them easier to identify. So, why? This is very important. It's a security feature. The major web browsers block third-party cookies from 2022 as a security requirement. Advanced domains solve the problem by cross-domain cookies by changing the structure of the domains that serve content. If you don't understand the whole thing, just say there's a security enhancement. It's associated with cookies, and then it's about the blocking of third-party cookies, and this is a workaround to access the third-party cookies. So, um, if you are uh, a techie, you can dig into that, but uh, if you are not familiar with this, just forget it, just think of as a security feature. Benefits, a lot of benefits with that. Uh, new enhanced domain URL will not have instance names like NA32, NA52, etc. and have simplified domains and hence will easier to remember and prevent destruction of is moved to another instance. There are the uh, points of benefits. Meet the latest browser security standards. Improve the certificate security standard. Each domain now had, has its own certificate. Standardizes the host name syntax pattern. Uses my domain value for more features. Site Salesforce experience now uses my domain. Accelerate Salesforce experience traffic. New domain names are designed to share cookies between domains. New set of host names of your org. So these are the benefits. So spend some time on the screen, go through that, and then try to understand what's going on with my domain, yeah? Um, Hostname comparison, this is a chart or a, or a image. So it's, this is a current hostname, enhanced domain hostname, sandbox dom, nom, domains hostname. Here, right now you have lighting.force.com or my.selfhost.com. Um, uh, after Changing so it will be sandbox.lightning.com for sandbox for my.selfhost.com it will be sandbox.my.selfhost.com. These are the enhanced domain host name, these are the sandbox enhanced domain host names. Um, go through with that and then um, so you can see sandbox is added um, to identify whether it's a sandbox or not. Um, so these are the current, these are the NAS domain also, and this is the sandbox NAS domain uh, host name. Yeah. Impact. When you enable enhanced domain, Salesforce URLs, URLs change across your org. Your production may, uh, my domain login URL doesn't change but almost every other Salesforce URL change. Experience cloud size, Salesforce cloud size, Visual Force pages, content files, use your my domain name. To help minimize the disruption, Salesforce redirects other non-enhanced domain host names such as your Visual Force pages until 20, winter 24. They stop after that, okay? 
you have to fix before 24 winter this is a timeline you can see started 2002 and then NS domain uh, is uh, GA Re um, URL redirection is possible until here October 2030 NS domain used by default by aux so it goes uh, NN domains is enforced you know, after 23 winter 24 NS domains without redirection will uh, uh, be enforced so all names will be, uh, will not be used only new um, domain uh, URL will be used by Salesforce yeah. this is a timeline this is very important timeline so you have to plan accordingly to fix this issue in your orgs Winter 23, Aug 22 for sandboxes and October for production. Even after non, after enforcement, Salesforce will support redirection of all URL or you can disable if required. This will end by Winter 24 release. Really. That's what I told you. I mentioned it again. How URL redirection will work? When you enable enhanced domains, you will notice your previous my domain list in the routing section of my domain setup page. In the routing section, you can toggle the redirection behavior on, in, on and off. And also you can have other option to permanently delete the previous URL. So the ball is in, in your court. You, you can play with that. Um, you can toggle between all URL, new, new URL, and then you can delete the old URL, and then you can enable um, the redirection. So, the, so you have flexibility to that. These are the checklist. Uh, for the enhanced domain, get list of all domain which are going to be changed and check mention host names, network firewall configurations, hard-coded host name references, authentication, config hard-coded host name in custom settings, service integration APIs, MuleSoft and other middleware UI integration, test normal usage activities, what about manage package like Cloud Chris, social links comp uh, company sites, uh, experience cloud URL will change, custom domain, bookmarks, uh, mobile publisher of experience cloud app, sales for CPQ external configurator, embedded serving, service deployment, chat widget, third party cookies, error and classic, embedded content, single sign on. Single sign on integration of OAuth using the dot CloudForce and dot database dot com domain services can fail. So yeah, go through the list. So for this one is all URL format and then check to mention host name, check description is check for via versus. Look at this uh, checklist before you enable. Uh, uh, NS domain be prepared and then you have to fix it accordingly and then there are a lot of implications and there are pain points and there are points we can which can fail so again um, so this is kind of a org wide uh, change impacts your enterprise architecture uh, good luck with that, this is Salesforce USA.